This is Hong Kong Free Press coming to you live from the scene of a protest uh, march now moving from uh, Tokwa Wan uh, into Wampoa. Hundreds of protesters are now walking along Hong Hom Road uh, despite the uh, steadily uh, uh, steady rain and the unstable weather. This is the 11th weekend of protests in Hong Kong, which have continued unabated. Hundreds if not thousands of protesters have showed up today for a march which was originally planned to take place uh, from Tokwa Wan to Hong Hong. The march, however, had been banned by police and was only allowed again after organizers adjusted their route. Protesters are now chanting the slogan triads, uh, referring to the police, uh, a criticism of police behavior in the past weeks. Today's march had been uh, long in the planning, originally meant for late July, but delayed multiple times due to unexpected events. The theme of the march originally was about community issues. The Tokwa Wan community ha has seen an influx of tour buses, mainly from the mainland. Protesters have complained that the community here uh, in Tokwa Wan and Hong Hom have seen large coach buses driving on narrow streets not designed to accommodate them and there have been instances of traffic accidents uh, uh, due to uh, coach buses. So one of the slogans chanted today is Reclaim Hong Kong and Tokwa Wan, give me back my peaceful community. It is a reference to the influx of mainland tourists uh, which have uh, uh, visited this neighborhood there are at least two reasons why tourists have been diverted to this neighborhood. Partly because there is a pier in Hong Hom, and also because uh, some of the coach buses uh, can park here. However, the uh, nature of the protest and the nature of the demands have evolved. And now it is also an anti-extradition bill protest as well, channeling the public outcry The march was originally planned to end at the Wampoa uh, uh, MTR station. We're now moving close to the neighborhood of Wampoa, Wangpo, and uh, the uh, planned destination of the protest march today. The exact route of the march had been the subject of uh, back and forth between organizers and police.
the march started at around 3:30 at Hoisham Park in Tokwa Wan, and proceeded along Hong Hum Road all the way here to Ampoa. It is about a half an hour's walk. Uh, many of the uh, participants have already reached the end point, and we will see where they're headed next. There have been reports of some protesters throwing eggs and uh, defacing the uh, office of a pro-Beijing political party, the DAB party. The DAB has a local office in the neighborhood, which had reportedly become the target of protesters. Uh, interestingly enough, the slogan being chanted now uh, is a reference to the rally at Victoria Park tomorrow, as it seems that participants are urging others to not just march today, but also to continue to attend a um, a planned rally at Victoria Park and Causeway Bay tomorrow. The march in Victoria Park is expected to be larger in scale compared to the march here today. Though, of course, the turnout here in uh, Tokawan and Wampoa is still quite substantial. As the protesters are chanting now, they are chanting 818, uh, August 18th. They are calling on fellow protesters to not just march today, but also attend the rally at Victoria Park tomorrow. Some of the posters here on the roadside are about uh, police violence, about triads attacking uh, people indiscriminately, and also about the uh, administration administration of Chief, Chief Executive uh, Carrie Lam. We have now, in fact, reached the local MTR station, which is the designated endpoint of today's march. However, whether the protesters will uh, obey the police instructions is another matter entirely. Uh, just to recap what the announcer just said, apparently the organizers are telling uh, attendees that the march is meant to end at 5.30. Uh, organizers are telling protesters that the march uh, will end at 5.30 and the location is right here at the local MTR station. Uh, 
they are calling protesters to return to the sidewalk. Uh, though it appears that not all protesters are dispersing, there are reports of some uh, breakaway groups uh, marching on other streets as well. Though there have not yet been any reports of major clashes yet. Uh, there has been report about a office of a pro-Beijing party uh, being vandalized by protesters. Uh, protesters have reportedly vandalized the DAB office in the neighborhood. The turnout today uh, seems to be quite strong despite the rain. It has been raining almost non-stop since uh, the march started at 3.30. Not heavy rain, but still quite uh, persistent raining. But there has been uh, at least a few thousand uh, protesters taking to the streets here in Taokwawan, Hong Kong and Wampa today. The march today was originally meant to uh, discuss local community issues, such as the influx of tourists from the mainland. Uh, some residents complained that tourists, as well as the coach buses, have affected uh, the livelihood and the environment of local community. However, uh, the theme and the nature of today's march has since evolved, and now encompasses uh, the public's anger against police and Carrie Lam's administration. As we can see in the distance, in the background, uh, we're now at Wampo, uh, a relatively uh, middle class or upper middle class neighborhood, a uh, residential neighborhood right now. We see here quite an interesting banner. Uh, this banner says that the residential estate here is a private area and that police should not enter unless given authorization. Uh, for viewers not familiar with the situation in Hong Kong, this is very much a, uh, a banner that is not uh, friendly towards the police, to say the least. There has been incidents of police trying to enforce the law or to uh, chase suspects into residential estates, uh, into private residential estates. 
uh, those attempts have been met with fury by local residents. Uh, many of them say that it is the police, not the protesters, that are disturbing the peace. And in some cases, they have come out in large crowds to shout and yell at police, telling them to go away from the place they live. What we see here is a long, uh, long, long banner here, uh, explicitly telling police not to enter private residential estates unless given authorization. So I've just spoken to a protester uh, here in Wambo who is holding up a sign. Uh, he says that his uh, surname is Kong and that he is protesting despite not being a resident in the neighborhood. Uh, he, uh, the words written on the piece of paper he held up are lyrics from a song, which are about uh, how there are uh, many detours and uh, people going around in circles, wondering how long it takes for people to arrive at where they want to go. Uh, people are feeling tired and that uh, they have bled and lost their time. Uh, but it seems that the uh, dream, the ideal, is still quite far away. So Mr. Kong told me that uh, 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 he said that uh, Carrie Lam's administration have not re responded to the public's demands. And that uh, uh, he said that he was also planning to go to the rally tomorrow uh, on uh, August 18th in Victoria Park in Causeway Bay after he got off work. 
I asked him whether he felt he identified more as a uh, peaceful marcher or whether he would say that uh, he supported more violent actions or at least uh, uh, more radical actions. Uh, he told me that uh, both of these methods have their own uses and as long as people uh, have a clear idea of what they want to achieve, people have a clear idea of what they want to do, he said that both of these uh, paths uh, are acceptable. We are now at the uh, proposed end point of the march today. Uh, here at the local MTR station. Uh, a protester is calling on others to join the rally tomorrow at Victoria Park. Uh, we will end the live stream for now. Uh, if there are other protests, uh, escalation, or follow-up actions later in the day, Hong Kong Free Press will be monitoring developments on the ground as well. Thank you for joining us.